Hey, in the late 90s, there was a worldwide yo-yo craze. Over 100 million yo-yos were sold globally in a span of just four years. Yo-yos were everywhere. They were all over TV. Any kid you'd see walking down the street was playing with a yo-yo. Then it all came to an abrupt ending in the year 2000. But now there's a new generation, and I want to make it happen all over again. The era of social media has created a new awareness for yo-yo that the world hasn't seen since the last craze. Millions of people are being exposed to yo-yo again, but that in itself hasn't started the next boom. So what'll it take? I want to start the next worldwide yo-yo yo-yo craze, but I know I can't do it on my own. In my journey to becoming world yo-yo champion, I learned that in order to do something the best, it takes more than just my idea of how to do it. What about other world champions? Whatever ignited the spark for the people that have spent more time yo-yoing than anyone else on the planet, that is the spark that I need to recreate for the next generation, and that is what'll start the next yo-yo build. Less than two weeks ago, I flew to Japan to meet with as many different world yo-yo champions as possible to ask them what created that spark for them. Here's what I found out. Made it to Japan. I'm on my way to meet up with the first two world champions of the journey. First, Shingo Tarada, as well as four-time world champion Hiroyuki Suzuki. Hi, Shingo Tarada became a world champion in 2001, and his routine is known for some crazy tricks with amazing performance. Shingo, thank you so much for meeting with me. Hey, thank you, Gentry. What got you interested in yo-yoing? Hey, yo promotion. What other things were you interested in when you started yo-yoing? Miniok. The ones you like Racing. build and race with? Was your car fast? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't very good at that? Yeah. When you started playing yo-yo, you were good at that? Yeah. Oh, okay. When Shingo was first introduced to yo-yoing, right away he was good at it. There was something that clicked with him with yo-yos that didn't click with the other things he was interested in. I then went to meet with Hiroyuki Suzuki and the similarities were shockingly interesting. Hiroyuki Suzuki is a four-time world champion and one of the most dominant and influential competitors of all time. He was going Godspeed 18 years ago and was one of the first to do it. Can't wait to talk to him. All right, where did it start for you? Hi, for you. I went to the first mini contest. I had to do walk the dog, and I failed. So after that, I, I think I start practicing. What is it about yo-yo that made you dedicate yourself to become four-time champion? Well, yo-yo was the only thing I could do. I've been playing yo-yo since seven, eight. Yo-yo was kind of my life. Shingo and Hiroyuki both got hooked on yo-yo because yo-yos became that thing that helped them find their confidence and give them a sense of accomplishment. This made me super curious to see if it was the case for any of the other champions that I was meeting up with. Next, I went to Kyoto to meet with Eiji Okayama, a two-time world champion that's known for throwing down some of the most risky and iconic tricks ever. Now he runs his own yo-yo company, but what got him hooked to begin with? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? I want to learn more about why you love yo-yoing and what made you dedicate yourself so much. How did you get started yo-yoing? Uh, since I was 10 or 11 years old, there was yo-yo boom from Bandai Hyper Yo-Yo. What was it about yo-yos that first made you interested? I just got one bad yo-yo and I didn't play good because it was not good yo-yo and after like one month or two months later i got brain started like uh, spinning that makes me into yo-yo the first yo-yo you had didn't work well for yeah you. but so then once you got a yo-yo that worked yeah then you got hooked yeah ag also started because of the 90s boom but the thing that got him hooked was getting a yo-yo that worked well if someone starts with a yo-yo that isn't easy to use it makes it a lot less fun so for ag getting a good yo-yo was crucial for him to make it easier to learn and feel that quicker sense of accomplishment and if you want a yo-yo to get started with my entire line of signature yo-yos is available on my website gentrystein.com the links in the description i've set up the yo-yo master pack and the yo-yo pro trainer pack to be perfect for you to start your yo-yo journey i have a full beginner to pro range go check it out back to the video i'm leaving kyoto now i'm heading to nagoya to meet up with two more world champions rei irakura and shinya kido see you there rei irakura is a seven-time world yo-yo champion known for his incredible stage presence and flawless routines with no mistakes he's a true master of his craft, but what keeps him motivated to continue yo-yoing at this level? What got you interested in yo-yoing? When I was 10 years old, super big yo-yo booming. My friends show me the yo-yo tricks. That was amazing. How do you feel when you look back at that 10 year old Ray, did you imagine that you would be where you are now? Oh, no way. <laughs> when I was kids, every kid playing the video games. In video games, you can level up, you can be a super strong man in the video game, but mm -hmm. in the real world, you didn't change. 
but in your yard, you can level up in their world. This is very amazing for me. At any time, you can take the yo-yo with you and experience progress and the creativity. The most big thing to continue the yo-yo is the feeling of accomplishment. What an absolute legend. Ray also started with the 90s boom, but what was most important to him was the ability to challenge himself, constantly grow, and level up. This is also a huge part about why I love yo-yoing, but how do I start the next yo-yo boom so more people get to experience this too? Let's chat with some more champions. Next is Shinya Kido, who became world champion in 2009. He's known for his super fast tricks as well as some tricks in some insane positions nobody's ever done before. Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> How did you first get started yo-yoing? Did a hyper yo-yo? Everyone yes. started from hyper yo-yo. Yes. Why was yo-yo interesting to you when you were young and just starting? So many reasons. <laughs> Stage performance and making new tricks and new friends. When you first started yo-yoing, what other things were you interested in? Uh, I joined the soccer club, <laughs> but yo-yo is my best. You you weren't good at soccer? Mm, just watch. <laughs> okay. What was it about yo-yoing that made you keep doing it? I was a number one player in my town. <laughs> oh, okay. Yo-yo yes. became something that made you feel special and confident. Yes. This is the common story, and what's special about it is your height, age, where you're from, none of that matters. Anyone can become good at yo-yoing. So it was time to meet up with the last world champion of the trip, John Ando, to see if there's any missing pieces to this puzzle. John became a world champion in 2008 with potentially the greatest yo-yo routine of all time. Known for his trick innovation and next level stage performance, he's brought a level of style and flair into the yo-yo scene that has completely revolutionized modern yo-yoing. What was it about yo-yoing that made you interested to start in the first place? It looked cool. It was like an art, but it was a sport, a mixture of both. An outlet to use my creative mind. Why did you choose to stick with yo-yo instead of doing something else? Actually, I tried a lot of different things in my life, but I've always came back to yo-yo. No, yo-yo is just, it has something special in my heart. When you were just getting started with yo-yoing, was there anyone specific that inspired you? The person that comes to mind is Alex Garcia. He was the guy who was the main yo-yo demonstrator for the hyper yo-yo craze back in 98. He is the reason why all the kids wanted to be on THP. John loves yo-yoing for many of the same reasons as myself and the other champions that I talked to, but he also mentioned he found an idol and role model in the biggest yo-yo demonstrator of the 90s boom, Alex Garcia. If I want to start the next yo-yo boom, I have to make yo-yos more easily accessible and physically go put yo-yos in people's hands. I have a huge announcement coming in the next video, so subscribe to stay tuned.